Men of Galilee, why gaze in wonder at the heavens? This Jesus whom you saw ascending into heaven will return as you saw him go. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And today we feast, we uh, celebrate the feast of the Ascension. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth, Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he was given his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations. For 40 days he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem but to wait there for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you have heard me speak about. John baptized with water, but you not many days from now will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky when suddenly two men in white were standing near them and they said, why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, this same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. The word of the Lord response to the psalm, God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the most high we must fear, great king over all the earth. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blasts. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and perception of what is revealed to bring you to full knowledge of him. May he enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see what hope his call holds for you, what rich glories he has promised the saints will inherit, and how infinitely great is the power that he has exercised for us believers. This you can tell from the strength of his power at work in Christ when he used it to raise him from the dead and to make him sit at his right hand in heaven, far above every sovereignty, authority, power, or domination, or any other name that can be named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. He has put all things under his feet and made him, as the ruler of everything, the head of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills the whole creation. The word of the Lord. Please stand to acclaim the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Go, make disciples of all the nations. I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to to Mark. Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place while they going out, preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord, a feast that does not get as much attention as Christmas, Easter, or even Pentecost. And maybe we might feel uncomfortable with the story of the Ascension because it has shades of farewell and leave-taking. And we might be able to relate to the disciples on the outskirts of Jerusalem because sometimes we too find ourselves in strange and frightening places where we are lonely and feel ill-equipped to carry on. For example, you're at an Ulster final and your side is four points down with five minutes to go and suddenly you realize that you're totally surrounded by opposing fans and then one of your heroes gets a red card and those opposition supporters are getting louder and looking anything but friendly. Back in the fifth century St. Augustine had this to say about the ascension. Lord, you ascended from before our eyes. 
We toiled back grieving, only to find you in our hearts. And therein lies the message of what we celebrate today. The Ascension reminds us that if we're looking for the Lord, we will discover him within our own hearts and in the community, especially when we gather to celebrate the Eucharist. The parting words of Jesus call us to give witness we're to live in such a way that others will become aware of God's presence in the world around us. In the words of the Anglican priest and poet Malcolm Geet, we saw his life, we saw his light break through the cloud of glory, whilst we were rooted still in time and place. As earth became a part of heaven's story, and heaven opened to his human face. We saw him go, and yet we were not parted. He took us with him to the heart of things, the heart that broke for all the brokenhearted, is whole and heaven-centered now, and sings sings in the strength that rises out of weakness, sings through the clouds that veil him from our sight, whilst we ourselves become his clouds of witness and sing the waning darkness into light. His light in us and ours in him conceived, which all creation waits, to see revealed. Wished the referee has just awarded your team a penalty. Hope springs eternal. Amen. We stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism to the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the signs and wonders of today's gospel, we hear assurances from God that our mission will not harm us and will succeed. On this ascension day, we place our trust in him. We pray for that purity of wisdom and perception God gave to the early church as we continue the work of spreading the good news in our time. Lord, hear us. Charity, selflessness, gentleness, and patience are the signs of God's presence among us. We pray that in our relationships with others, we may be able to develop these gifts which he has given to us sacramentally. Lord, hear us. This day, Jesus sends us to give witness to his love in our encounters with people who suffer injustice, homelessness, and prejudice. May we respond with compassion and with mercy. 
Lord, hear us. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick, lonely, or in the depths of sadness. May they find strength and consolation through the Christian community that the Lord has placed around them. Lord, hear us. We pause for a moment of silence as we recall our own personal intentions. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all who have died. The recently deceased, Gregory Burke, Maggie Hall, Jackie Sharkey, Dominguez Dutel, Jesse Hamill, Jose Lima, and Olympia de Carvalho. At this time, we remember Jeannie McParland, Eilish McGee, Joe Hamill, Gintari Jurgis Alito, Gintari Jurge. And uh, Harry McConville and Marika McGuire, whose anniversaries were yesterday. And today is the month's mind of uh, Vincent Thomas Berry and the anniversaries of John Morgan, John Connolly, Maria Sarmento, Maria da Costa, Vony Liggett, uh, Patrick Murray, Jack Greer, and Annie Livingstone. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, the disciples' joy in Ascension Day overflows into our lives and gives us courage to open the doors of our hearts and enter the wonderful mystery you call us to experience. With thanksgiving and praise, we make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your sons. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we his members might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. 
therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our venerable spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Eamon, our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Michael, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, 
through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your <coughs> apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Last week's collection amounted to £2,107.62p, and thank you once again to all who have contributed. We congratulate all the boys and girls from St John the Baptist Primary and Bun School Owen Baxter who made their first Holy Communions this week and the uh, presentation will be in a few weeks' time. Sunday Cuppa, the, the um, promised cup of tea the Knights of St. Columbanus offered us. Uh, if you remember, it was a bad evening, but it's now going to be on the weekend of the 18th and 19th of May. So uh, we look forward to that. Now, blessed Carl o Acutis relics arrive at Ben Borb Priory uh, on Monday, that's tomorrow, at, on the, tw yeah, and it's followed by Mass at 3 p.m., and uh, that'll be something to look forward to. The Blessing of the Graves here is on Sunday, the 2nd of June. It will take place after the half 11 Mass here, and uh, parishioners are in and visitors are encouraged to attend any of the Sunday Masses and then gather at family graves for approximately half past twelve for a short blessing. And family members should bring holy water to sprinkle on their family graves. So when tidying graves, please ensure to take any rubbish home with you or dispose of it in your uh, general waste or garden waste bin. There are no waste facilities in the cemetery. There'll be made devotions this evening here at 7 p.m. Uh, rosary, benediction, exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. And uh, the best of luck to our Ma and if by any chance you're lucky enough to get a ticket and you're traveling, I'm advising you to bring rain gear, apparently. The, apparently this good weather was only for First Holy Communion. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. <laughs>